So I saw the movie Machete last night, and it was ridiculous. Like, I say ridiculous, and you're like, oh, oh, okay, it was a little weird. No, no, it was ridiculous. Ridiculous. You don't understand. It was so crazy. It was like, oh my god, I thought it would be weird. And I underestimated this movie entirely. I, I, let me explain to you something about who was in this movie. Like, the stars are... Let's, let's just go over the actors. Danny Trejo. I think that's how you pronounce it. If four years of Spanish serve me rightly, which they do. Okay, Danny Trejo is like, you know, the Hispanic guy who kills everyone in every movie, particularly this movie. Like, he was like actually in prison. He has all these scary tattoos. He looks fucking crazy. He's a little, I'm a little intimidated by him, but he's, he's on my computer screen and I'm still a little intimidated by him. That's the kind of dude we're dealing with. And then you have like Robert De Niro is in it. I don't even know why he chose to be in it, but he was. And then you have Jessica Alba, who is still sexy. I don't care. Like, you know they got her because the sexy lady is sexy. We'll get her in the movie. And then they did. And then they have, like, Lindsay Lohan. And I don't know what they were thinking because they definitely were not thinking sexy lady is sexy because that's not true. They're probably thinking 20-year-old who looks like a 40-year-old hooker. Let's have her for no reason at all. By the way, this movie brought to attention that Lindsay Lohan is a bunch of fucking stupid tattoos. I mean, really? Really, Linz? That's what you chose to do with your money. You ha you're a millionaire and you choose to do, like, drugs. Fine, I get that. But these stupid tattoos, you could have at least gotten some better tattoos. I mean, that's just my attention. Like, the one that I think is the most stupid, she got, like, on her wrist, the word breathe, but in white ink. I don't know why. Anyway. Um, who else was in it? Michelle Rodriguez, who I happen to like because she always wears like a tank top in every single movie she's in. That's like a requirement. She's like, no, 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 no. I don't wear real shirts. You have to give me a tank top so I can look like a badass. Please. Please. It's in my contract. Um, also Steven Seagal was in it and it's like, Steven, are you trying to be Mexican? Because you're not. He's like, I don't even know his nationality, but I thought he was kind of Asian-ish because he does like Asian fighting things and he had like a katana in the movie, except he was speaking Spanish and when he was speaking English, he was speaking English with like a Spanish accent. I don't know what was going on. Like, that's pretty much my opinion of this entire movie, is I don't know what's going on. Because, like, okay, Robert Rodriguez directed it, so you already have, like, a picture of, like, wait, what? What's what's happening? I'm so confused. Like, um, let's see. I can't remember, so don't trust what I'm about to say at all, but I think he was the one who did From Dawn Till Dusk, or From Dusk Till Dawn from dusk till dawn anyway that was a stupid movie it was good the part that quentin tarantino directed and then it turned shitty as soon as he started directing it because you're like wait wait vampires what i thought this was a heist movie and like he did um i think he did the first half of grindhouse uh, once again don't trust anything i'm saying right now um and which was also retarded because it had a girl with a gun for a leg. She didn't even reach down to like load and like shoot it. She just like magicked her leg to shoot people. It was so stupid. Anyway, um, so that's who was in this movie. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the plot because to be honest, I don't know what the plot is. It was just ridiculous. I'm staring. I'm like, but, but how does, how does that end? Um, what? That was the entire movie. Now, the plot doesn't matter, to be honest. It's about Mexicans and immigration and naked chicks. Like, I swear to God, what happened when they were making the plot for this movie is like, they were like, we'll have a couple drinks while we're writing this, you know, just to get things flowing. So they had a couple drinks at the beginning, and it kind of makes sense, you know. Except they keep drinking more as they wrote the plot until eventually, at the end, they weren't just drunk, they weren't just wasted, they were shwasted. And then they wrote the end, and they're like, and then more people will come in, and there'll be an epic battle, and then she'll wear an eye patch, and she'll be wearing this, and then the nun will come in, and you're like, were you completely blitzed when you wrote this? And the answer is yes. Yes, entirely. Entirely gone. Just, whoa, man. Whoa, man. Um, that said, the movie had some good violence just because it was so violent. There was just, like, blood. Blood. 
blood that there were like entrails like he used this like at this one scene he was like at this sexy hospital not a regular hospital a sexy hospital where only chicks wearing sexy clothes could be nurses there he was at the hospital of sexy nurses and he like hopped out of a building holding onto this guy's like entrail as a rope seriously this happened in the movie it was just so ridiculous then he got like arrested and then like the cop car explodes except he escapes even though the other guys do but it's never explained how he gets out of the back of the cop car and doesn't explode it doesn't explain anything like this guy i swear to god is invincible like everyone around him dies except him like he's driving into like a machine gun volley the guy next to him is completely decimated he's just destroyed he's just has bullet holes completely in him machete completely fine he's like sorry dude that he goes in and like bangs a hot chick no he doesn't bang any chicks yes he does what am i saying okay of the um how many women well there weren't that many women actors in this movie not at all but of like i think the six of them four of them spent half their screen time naked like they're just like yeah yeah they're just gonna be naked no explanation just completely naked and you're like wait wait what i didn't want to see Lindsay lohan's boobs i really didn't i did not uh anyway but i like to mention that machete never initiates these sexual contacts he's just like my name is machete and the ladies are like aren't you gonna join us machete and then he's like Mm, sure, I'm not doing anything else right now. You know, why not? Uh, by the way, they always pronounce his name Machete. You have to do it in that voice. Just just try it, just try it. I'll wait. It's fun, right? I thought so. Um, yeah. So, like, Machete is just going around killing everyone for every reason possible. Now, I'd like to mention he kills, like, every minion in this movie, except for two, and these are my favorite guys, because they're just, like stupid. I'm just gonna go with that. They're really stupid. And they're like, how come it's, it's that every time a Mexican with like a shovel or something like that gets to go wherever he wants at a house? It's just assumed. He's a gardener. It's okay. And then they realize, oh, we just let Machete in because he was pretending to be a gardener. And then they were like, ah, oh, fuck. And then at one point in time, Machete's just like beating the shit out of this one guy. And he's like, stop, stop, stop. It hurts. Okay, stop. You can stop now. It's just like, well, I appreciate this minion for being like, okay, okay, I'm being hired for this. I'm not going to give my life away. I just, please stop. Please, please stop now. The entire movie was just entirely ridiculous. Like, which day gets all the ladies. He doesn't get wounded. He really doesn't. And, and Jessica Alba's hot in it. And it's just, it's a ridiculous movie. That's it's the, the, if I, if the one thing you want to take away from this is it's ridiculous ridiculous like oh my god like i'm not saying you shouldn't see it if you like ridiculous movies where you just laugh because it's so ridiculous but you still enjoy it because it's also awesome then you should see it but they're just like everyone dies well not i take that back everyone doesn't die but everyone kills a lot of people just like a lot of people and you think people are dead and they aren't and it's just yeah what the fuck that's really all i can say about this movie what the fuckity fuck. Anyway, see you space cowboy.